Hello, my name is Aaron Bryan, Marketing Manager for Measurement Solutions at Draeger in North America. Draeger is an international leader in medical and safety technology. Since being founded in 1889, Draeger has offered a wide variety of products for fire services, the industrial and mining fields, and medical applications. Draeger products protect, support, and save lives. In this video, I'd like to talk about thermal imaging cameras, specifically about why shutter speed is important. First, let's discuss why cameras have to shutter and gain a better understanding of the technology behind it. Today, most cameras utilize either amorphous silicon or vanadium oxide microbolometer technology. A bolometer is simply a device that transforms electromagnetic radiation, infrared in this case, into an electrical signal. Microbolometer cameras are smaller and lighter than their predecessors, and thanks to fewer moving parts, they are considerably more rugged. Even though microbolometer technology represents a distinct advancement in thermal imaging, there are operating characteristics that users in the fire service have to be aware of. Microbolometer camera cores have tiny receptors that absorb infrared radiation and ultimately produce an image. Once the core's receptors are saturated with radiation, the microchip inside has to refresh or drain the receptors to produce another image. To allow the saturated core to dissipate its absorbed energy, a shutter will momentarily block the lens. How the shutter operates can dramatically affect what is seen on the display. Older designs use a shutter that remained closed for up to two to three seconds after viewing a high heat source. This causes the camera to freeze frame while the receptors dissipate their absorbed energy. With this older technology, the freeze framing effect means you could miss critical information such as exit points or an incapacitated individual. Draeger's approach reduces the freeze framing effect. Draeger's small shutter allows for a rapid refresh rate. This leads to a more useful camera that exhibits almost no noticeable freeze framing. A trade-off for the faster shutter response is an occasional ghosting effect under extreme conditions. Typically, a firefighter will use the camera to continuously scan their environment. It's rare that a firefighter would point the camera at a source of extreme heat for longer than five seconds. In those rare instances, a high influx of radiation could produce a ghost image of the heat source before the camera's infrared sensors can properly clear the microchip of infrared radiation. Even under this unique circumstance, the Draeger camera is still producing a usable thermal image instead of a frozen image as with older technology. For more information on Draeger's thermal imaging cameras, visit us on the web. Thanks for watching and stay safe.